Hello everybody. Uh, I'm going to show you how I like to make a sniper rifle balloon. Um, let me see, we're going to need four balloons for this. I have a black 350. I've got two black 260s and one clear 260. Alright, so we're going to start off with the black 350. We're going to inflate it pretty much all the way. Now, it's fully inflated, but I like to make it a little bit soft by give a little bit of a burp there and tie a knot. There we go. And uh, sometimes I like to tie two knots here. I find it easier for my tulip twist, which we're about to do. Put the finger on the end of the balloon. We're going to push it in and create a deep tulip twist here. Uh, the reason I like to put two knots on the end is I find it's easier sometimes to grab a hold. Um, so there we are. This is going to be the silencer of our gun. Now, this balloon here is actually pretty much done being twisted. There's not much to do left to it. You just uh, twist it down, fold it down like this, and so that's going to create the barrel of our gun. Now the next one is going to be a black 260 uh, right here. A little bit bigger, there we go. And this one here, I usually try to get it to about three fingers, maybe four fingers, yeah, about three fingers length at the end. Um, I like to give this one a little bit of a stretch, make it a little bit soft like that. We're going to start with a pinch twist. And so there we are. So there's our pinch twist. All right, now here's what we're going to do. We're going to fold this one down, and uh, along the top part of the barrel, I'm going to place this beside it and I'm going to wrap it around like a loop, like that, and twist that in. So that's going to hold that flat. All right, then I'm going to go up about four, about four fingers, like a good fist full of balloon, four to five fingers, and uh, I'm going to make another pinch twist. All right, and then this one is going to, once again, wrap around, just like this. Now, you could leave it just like this. You could leave this piece on and call that your scope. Um, and I sometimes still do that. But most of the time, this is what I like to do. I like to tear this one off. Okay, break that off. You don't need that anymore. Wrap it in a couple of times. And I'm going to be using a clear 260 for the scope, but we'll get to that in a moment. First, we're going to get our next black 260. And once again, this is going to be to about three, about three, yeah, about three fingers, right? There we are. So about three fingers. Give a little bit of a stretch, a bit of a squeeze. We're going to start with two pinch twists, and they need to be fair sized pinch twists, not huge, but um, a little bit bigger than round. About an inch and a half pinch twist. Okay, now right here on this part here, I'm going to squeeze some of the air out right in the middle and tuck those pinch twists in. And we're back. Sorry about that telephone call. Um, okay, so what I've done is I have attached that balloon. I squeezed some air out, put the pinch twists in, and I pull it out a little bit and turn it once. That'll lock it in really good and tight. Now, next what I'm going to do is go out to about two, about two hands, two fists like this, and right about there I'm going to twist it. And I'm going to go about a fist, maybe a little bit more than a fist, maybe about like six fingers worth of bubble. And then we're going to make one, two, about two and a half fists. I like to skew this one a little bit, and I'm going to twist it right here, like this, and I'm going to push this one in. I push that one all the way around, bring it back to the bottom. So that's going to create the butt of our gun here. I think I'm going to turn that one over. There we go. No, I think I like it better back this way. There we are. Now, with the rest of this balloon that's sticking down here, I give it a squeeze and try to get all the air to the end if I can. And uh, twist a little bubble off. Like that. We're going to tuck that underneath the first loop here. Like this. And just wrap it around once. That should stay in good. 
that's going to create our handle. And what I like to do is give this a little bit of a shake. I just give this a little bit of a squeeze, shock just a little bit, right there, and right there. So now we've got the handle for our gun, and uh, a lot of the time the kids pull on this like a trigger. So already this is pretty cool, and this could be done, like I said, this could be your scope, but I'm going to go ahead and add a clear scope onto it, uh, whichever pocket I happen to have a clear balloon in. Here we are. All right. So this one, it doesn't really matter. You can use a scrap if you have it. Because um, we're not going to need very much of it. We're going to be using probably about, not even, about half the balloon, less than half of the balloon. Now, I'm going to start off here with a pinch twist. And uh, I'm going to wrap it right in with this pinch twist here. So I'm going to wrap around like this back up to the top. Now I've done fancier scopes but I like this one because the kids can actually see through it. So I go up about three fingers, nah about two fingers and twist a bubble. Then I'm going to go the entire length of this one here so probably about four fingers. Okay maybe five. There we are. And then I'm going to put another three finger bubble in. Two or three fingers. Uh, Depends on how big your fingers are, I guess. And I'm going to wrap it right in here. Alright. Now, I usually like to add one more pinch twist here. I try to make it as soft as I can. The rest of the balloon is soft. I squeeze it out so that it's not straining the, the clear balloon. Because clear balloons do not take a lot of strain. Once that's wrapped in, you can tear it off, and you don't need that one anymore. Then I like to wrap the little scrap left over into the balloon a couple times to make sure it doesn't leak out. There we are. And here you are. This is my sniper rifle. Uh, sometimes I'll write like Sniper 3000 with my white eddings across there. Um, but it's not necessary. It's a pretty cool looking gun. Um, it's big. It's, it has a 350 involved into it and it extends past that. So I mean it's it's a nice big gun. They can hold it. The kids, kids really go crazy for it. Um, and the reason I like to use the clear on the top um, rather than the dark scopes or the ones with the eyeballs at the end which are cool too. But the kids can actually see through this one. And uh, you'd be surprised how much the kids enjoy the fact that they can actually see through the scope. Um, and there, I used to put pinch twists on the end here, but I found it was hard for the kids to see through. Um, it gave it a slightly more polished look, but at the same time, um, the kids see through this one so much better. If you just have this little, this little uh, twist right here, it's much, much easier to see through. So here you are. That's my sniper rifle. I hope everybody enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.